gonna use this head dinobell and then she's gonna extend her whole body rolling out on a ball. So it's gonna go all the way down, lifting their hands and then coming back. So go ahead and go extend and come back like this. One more. One more. Pretty easy. Your foot is extensionary, and then just on the ball, you extend your back, coming down. Okay? That's pretty easy, and then easy to do, and then easy to follow. One more time. Ready? Go. One more. Good. This time, we're going to do. Uh, Use the dinobell and then move this way. Okay? So, one more time, I'm gonna show you this way, this way. So, then move the shoulder this way. Go ahead. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good. This could be one kilo. This could be 0 0.5 kilo. If you want it, this could be 1.5 kilo. So it has, has the valve here, and then you could put some water into it. Then you could increase the weight of the bell. So remember and imagine every time she does this rotation on the shoulder, this is a horizontal adduction, abduction, and the shoulder musculature gets stimulated, and then this gets enhanced. One more time. One, two, one, two, one, two. Good. As I said earlier, shoulder moves 360 degrees. So we don't need to do only this exercise right here. Most of the exercise in the gym, you do dumbbell raise and you do this. Rarely rotational moves, boom. So it'll give you pretty good rotational move. This time we're gonna do lie out on the ball. Now one down and one up. So we're gonna go one, two, one, two. Remember, hand ball is throwing. So every time we throw the ball, even in pass, it's a shoulder rotation. So we're gonna rotate down. And rotate off. You can see that. Ready? Go. Go. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Good. Imagine when she does this, she's still using, she's still using her upper back to stabilize the ball on the middle of her back. So this is very important. Okay. So now. What she could do, she could go one, two, three, four, five. Go ahead. Go. One, two, three, four, five. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. Good. This will help the upper and the front muscles extend, stretch, and then come back. So neuromuscular contraction could be right here and then you can stimulate that one more time go ahead one two three four five okay good now can you just put it on the side and then we're gonna rotate let me help you okay so this time we're gonna use this side line and I'm gonna stabilize her foot here okay so you can see now She's gonna rotate only the left side of the arm, and then I need to spot her right here. Ready, go. Four, five, good. So stand up, and we're gonna come here. One more time. Right here, let me help you here, so that you can slip, you don't need to slip, go, go. Two, three, four, five. 
the other side, the other way. Here we go. Two, three, four, five. Okay? In fact, when they get familiar, they could rotate really fast. Can you try? Go. We go. Two, three, four, five. Good job. Okay. Remember, this ball is weighting about 0 0.5 up to 1. You're rotating it. You're circling one kilo bell. So it'll give a lot of a strength on here. Okay. These are some of the exercises that you could for your you could do for your upper extremity, but it has a lower extremity function. And I'm gonna show you about four exercises that you could use. The reason why I want to do this ball work is to make the joint mobility better. The joints should be able to move freely, especially hip joint. It could be very tight, especially for our handball players. They run, go, back, go, back, go, back. Then a lot of runners' muscles get tighter. So this time I'm going to show you one mobility exercise. Now, there you go. You just widely, right? And abduct duct and the rotate. Good. Good. Now, this is just the one exercise that we're going to use the uh, back side of the muscle. And if you hit that and then bring it together. Hit the ball, bring it together. So we're gonna do five reps. Ready? Let's go. We go. Four, five. Did you see that? Of course you did. She used her abdominal area but also she uses her glute area. So this one will stimulate the core and then this will stimulate the glute. So it's at the front and back exercise and we're gonna show you one more time, five times. Your athletes could do without any bell, only one gym ball. Ready, go, pull it. Hit it, pull. Hit the ball, pull. Hit, pull. Hit. Pull, one more hit, pull, good job. Okay, so if you have uh, about 10 gym balls, you have uh, 20 players. The 10 players just count their partner's exercise and they're just lying on waiting. And then when their partner is done, then switch. And then ultimately they could do this exercise very easily. Okay, we're gonna go and one more functional. We're gonna go show you one more functional exercise. She's gonna put her hands right here and then put the knees on the ball. So now, this time we're gonna move the hip joint a little bit functional motion. Go ahead, go. Right, left, right, left, right, left this time. Her upper body is stimulated, right? Did you see that? Left and right. So on a ball, put the knee together, and then you just move back and forth in front of plane. Once again, front and back, side to side, rotate on a ball. Can you do it one more time? Short. And slow move. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, good. Let's do the uh, okay, okay, good. So, did you see that? On a two shoulder, left and right, and a hip move. She's sweating. I am sweating. We're doing a good job. One more exercise for you today. We're going to exclusively stimulate the core muscle. So remember in handball, every time they throw the ball, remember this core part is stretched and contracted. 
So in a uh, small setting, if they could do this exercise, it'll definitely strengthen this area. Uh, please, please avoid using the heavy weight in order to strengthen the exercise. In the game of handball, nobody uses the weighted vest, nobody uses the weighted uniform or jersey. They're just running by themselves. So putting more weights on our athletes will make them slow and to make them susceptible to any type of injury. So ball work and a full work using the small devices, always, always, I love it, why it's injury free. There's no injury. If the ball sometimes gets crazy and if the attacks me, still I don't get injury. So this is really friendly small devices and from this small devices, the athletes could improve their coordination. So go ahead one more time, and then you're gonna go. Just the last exercise for you. Ready? Extend and flex. Extend and flex. Extend and flex. Sweep, just give me one more. Extend, extend and flex again. Good job, good. Can you give her a hand? where you're sitting, so I could hear that. Thank you so much uh, for the opportunity to introduce some of the uh, sports uh, performance related exercises. So I hope that you could utilize this exercise in your setting. And also if you have any questions, we would love to get back to you with the answers or some of the recommendation. So I'm gonna close my session here. It was an honor and the pleasure to meet with you in this online virtual studio. Good luck with your coaching. Thank you.